if the ppm result is 4.8 they are get battered easily battered but for me go to ph oh it's not working good morning good morning good morning everybody welcome back to my channel well a lot of you guys are asking me questions sir do you check your ph do you check your ppm or tds what should you, you do every time every morning so um every morning before i attend my uh, virtual class or virtual observation because i am also a teacher so yeah so as you can observe my bell peppers are doing great they are growing strong they get bigger well i have a crack key method here and i la uh, i have dutch bucket system which i put two bell peppers and one over here and one over there it depends on you on how you arrange them so this one is a red jet bell pepper is very expensive so i hope I can manage to uh, let them bear fruit okay so I have here a uh, strosa this is a Kratky method so the water is stagnant and let the roots grow under so this is strosa is uh, this is my harvest okay when I have one here and then I let the straws of flower and harvest the uh, seeds so what have you noticed guys is uh, in my youtube channel uh, there is no pH tester, the tester I did not monitor the ppm but today I let you know that at least once in a month or once in a while I check but I don't bother what is the result because I use Prima Solution by Riley or Prima Solutions by Riley Baluyot and sometimes if there is stock of snap hydroponics from Upilus Banyos so I use it but eventually for those of you guys are keep in keep on asking me sir do you check your pH do you check your ppm so well uh, so let's get into it so first off we need to check the ppm on this Kratky method okay let's go here let's open so zero zero so the roots are going strong okay and then yeah 898 ppm so the reading is good so in lettuce or leafy vegetables 800 is good 600 is good but depends on your sunlight okay so there are times that my ppm uh, reading is 600 but the result is great so I don't bother to change it so let's go to yeah as long as you use the right solution okay there are lots of uh, nutrient solution I don't name uh, any but I use two yes so this pH is very low so 4.7 4.8 so what should I do to make this plant better or grow better so I did not I did not <laughs> I didn't do nothing okay so I let, it, I let them grow as it is so um, a lot of guys they out there uh, who just uh, 
if the ppm result is 4.8 they are get battered easily battered but for me yeah as long as you use uh, prima or snap solution easy way easy mix so well of course uh, I need to check this later afternoon and maybe next time if there is a reaction on this one okay the growth went wrong so I need to do uh, a, a little bit uh, reinforcement okay but for now okay so the Kratky result is went well the growth is good okay as you can see it's very complete okay so let's go to this uh, fruit fruit box styro cup let's read the pph a ppm sorry okay Oh my god. Only to that thing, guys. So you have to turn it off. And then. Punas punas. On. And then test. 700. 780, 779. Okay. So 779, guys. Okay. But. The result for me it's okay so i need to uh, let it go and let it grow let it go let it grow <laughs> so i just uh, need a couple of days before i do some reinforcement so guys stay tuned and i know how to check this let's check the ph Okay. so the roots is went well very white so it is very healthy so as long as the roots is very healthy guys do not yet uh, take uh, any move so this one is 4.7 4.6 so it's a matter of uh, waiting uh, 4.6 67 so the growth is good for me huh? for me the growth is good it's all about judging and waiting so yes this is damaged by rain so I guess this one perform well even though this rating uh, rating of ppm is 700 plus only and this is 800 but the same pH lower than 5.5 5. okay so you know the average is 5.8 and up but in this system okay the ppm or the ph the ph reading is 4.8 or 4.7 so i did not bother it to change or to do reinforcement because again the growth is better or went well there is no trouble here so yes um, just relax and enjoy let them grow okay again so this one we go to our Dutch bucket all you know as you can see guys the leaves are very strong very fresh uh, this is Kratky method okay and then Dutch bucket so this is a cherry tomato before so I usually uh, cut the cherry tomato and remove the plant and then plant it again with another crop so this is usually the first batch I planted and then followed by this two four six eight batch so I have here another bell peppers so I need to transplant this before mahuli ang lahat <laughs> okay so let's go so 
this is my grow tank you need to check this one again so 1780 uh, so 1708 okay. so very high go to pH Oh, it's not working. We need to bonus bonus this one. <laughs> okay, hold and then. So again, guys, 4.6. Again, guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As long as your plant grows well, don't bother enough to, uh, or don't panic. Just let it, let them grow. Let them. Uh, feel the sunlight and wait for the harvest time okay